Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today I'm going to talk about Cosmo Films a very interesting share that has fallen something like 60-70% from its top of 2017 end let's understand how the business is going and let's understand whether you should invest at these values or not so let's get started first of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation and people taking any position into any share that i talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and i'm not in favor or against any company that i talk about before i start with uh, the analysis on cosmo films here's a small request that kindly support me on patreon and once you do that it will help me grow the channel it will help you also ask a number of questions with me uh, the patronage starts at two dollars a month and goes up to 25 dollars in 25 dollars i take care of your portfolio and advise you on what needs to be done on your portfolio and make you learn about how to uh, uh analyze portfolios and stocks etc but you have a ten dollar and a five dollar tier as well so go ahead and have a look at that there are exclusive articles that i publish there on stocks and uh, short term trades as, as well as long term trades so have a look at my patreon network now about Cosmo Film, this was established in 1981 and they are engaged in the production of flexible packaging films. The company's product uh, majorly uh, produced comprises of uh, BOPP films, thermal films and uh, coated films. So basically they, pr they provide packaging materials for FMCG and other sectors and uh, these packaging, pro uh, packaging materials uh, is used in different sectors and not just in FMCG but a, a number of sections. They have operations in Asia Pacific and USA so not only in India but globally it is a quite a renowned company. Uh, the issue is that the promoter holding is low uh, compared to other, other companies and the market cap of the company is around 600 crores. It was 450 crores when I made the video but currently it is around 600 crores or so. If you look at the financials of the company and here's where everything is, the, the sales growth has been uh, around 4%, so it has been a tepid sales growth, but the profit growth has been exceptional at uh, around 186% with 36 crores of profit in Q3 FI20 compared to 13 crores. Uh, the dividend payout is good and uh, currently also it is trading at uh, a nice 1.5-2% uh, uh, dividend yield. Uh, the return on equity is around 8% which is nothing home to write home about, nothing much to write home about and the operating profit margin is around 11% which is again decent but not exceptional. Uh, very, low uh, very low institutional holding and promoter holding is also low at around 40%. If you look at the performance of the stock then the stock is up 50% uh, this year till February it was up around 50% uh, but what happened uh, was uh, since February it has fallen a lot in the last uh, two months or so so numbers have been subdued on the sales front uh, there has been a lot of debt and that's why the company the stock got hammered because debt ridden companies no matter in which field they are they are getting uh, bruised and battered all across the board and that's what happened with cosmo films and it uh, it got down to levels of 140 145 even uh, uh, when it made the low in march so that's where it was it has recovered a lot from those levels virtually doubled from those levels at 275 currently uh, trading when i'm making uh, this video i made the presentation earlier but uh, compiling the video just before publishing it so in that regard it has recovered exceptionally uh, the dividend yield is very good and that is a very big positive uh, for the company uh, the return ratios are not not that great and that is quite surprising because the company did well between the 2013 to 2017 uh, run up and that probably was because of the kind of uh, performance oil gave but again oil is down so that should be very much positive for the company because um, the kind of uh, product that they produce the raw material is oil uh, the basic raw material is oil and currently oil prices are down maybe they might not have negotiated the price maybe the negotiation of the price is already done at around 45 50 dollars per barrel so they are not getting the benefit etc but uh, 
eventually what has been happening is that the return ratios has not been that great the sales has not been uh, up to the mark and that tells you a lot about the demand because the demand is not there and that's why they are not able to sell the product in that manner although the profit is great so maybe what has happened is the oil prices are priced in uh, in here and uh, uh, we could have a situation where sales doesn't grow because this quarter could uh, could uh, still be bad and that is why the stock has not uh, recovered uh, exceptionally from those levels although it has doubled because probably the small cap index the mid cap index has come back with a vengeance uh, so currently at 270 280 levels but i have a doubt whether the sales would come back in the next two quarters with the with the kind of situation india is going through so one has to take that into cognizant before getting into this uh, stock although i believe even at 270 275 it is trading at attractive levels on uh, on previous eps it is trading at four and a half five times and i believe that even if eps dips sharply this will be trading at something like 12 to 15 times earnings which will not be that expensive so that is uh, for sure but whether everything has been priced in i don't know there could be a decent amount of correction after this 80 90 percent move from the bottom so one has to take that into consideration as well if you look at the technicals uh, of the stock then there is strong support at around the 260 level so currently the stock is trading at 274 275 as i'm making this video 260 is a strong short term support the 200 dma is around 230 235 so one has to take that into consideration uh, for the stock to go past the 200 dma is a very big positive on technical terms uh, and uh, stock is just breaking out i suppose when it has gone beyond 270 272 it is on a cusp of a big breakout and we could see 320 330 levels if if the markets really support uh, uh, the long term support is at 230 so somebody who is invested for three four years time frame and want to buy here can keep a stop loss around uh, the 230 235 region uh, one thing needs to be told that the run up has already taken place so uh, the stock has already run up something like five seven percent from the bottom so uh, sorry uh, 70 80 percent from the bottom and so we could see 15 20 percent correction here if the market corrects if uh, that doesn't take place uh, then we have a situation where the stock could go past 300 very easily so that is how uh, the stock moves uh, but uh, promoter holding is about 40 percent which is not great uh, there is no big uh, institutional holding into the stock uh, uh, the bounce back may continue as i explained once the 280 levels are crossed uh, on a closing basis we could see 320 330 but eventually over the next two three months uh, i believe that, that there could be some uh, sort of selling that could take place which would be opportunity to get into the stock on a long-term basis so what needs to be done uh, if you have it then average at these levels and on lower levels but do not buy a fresh because there are very big headwinds as i explained with respect to demand uh, for the company you can look at other consumption play the staple consumption play or even the autos are uh, nicely placed at the moment uh, the prices so but you can look at those uh, options as well although packaging companies will benefit and should benefit from the oil crash that has taken place so that is a huge positive for for such companies but only have a less than five percent exposure to uh, these stocks so this was a video on cosmo film please like and subscribe and channel the bell icon so that you can get my video straight away when i post it thanks a lot for watching